me, Sean from the Sean Games One, and welcome to a recording or of the tutorial that you guys have asked for of how I do speed drawings. As you can see right here, I have some do that I need to draw. So let's get started. What you're gonna want to do is get your lines here if you're using the Microsoft Paint. Get your lines, make it dark and begin by drawing a simple block. Right there. First, you're going to want to get the structure of the whole skin and it basically is just like every single other one you do, unless of course the skin has like say a hat or like a headphone looking thing or a mustache or something but for now this is the head and it's what is going to be used for a skin that's so simple like this next what you're going to want to do is uh, do the arms that's something I always like to do and uh, do make sure you have all these pixels connected or else uh, things won't be so good so next you want to you're going to want to grab this corner right here of the head and bring this out to about here or, or whatever other direction you want it could be up here that, that could be where the arm is all depends on what you want um, actually let's do that let's make it go just for a little bit of variety let's make it go here alright and let's do go ahead and do the other arm and there do that for the other part of the hand and bring it down here here bring it down here next you're going to want to do the torso so grab that and I want a little bit of a difference between there and there uh, or I could just all, all together go like that might actually be a good idea, but yeah, no. Let's keep it like that. Now, we're also going to want to do some other things, add some depth to everything, and bring this out here. Add a little more to the drawing. Or you could grab it from the inside, bring it out here. Of course, that's a little bit too much. You want to try to keep it as even as possible all the way. Alright, there you go. So now you've got your torso, arms, and your head. Next, you're going to want to bring the legs out. And that is good. Okay. Next, we're going to want to do a bit of cleaning up. Obviously, we can't have this there. And that looks a bit funky. So, clean that up. And that's looking much better. Add a little more depth to this. And voila. Now, it's looking pretty good. However, you are missing the main parts of the... Actually, let's do this a bit different. there like that and I know it is mine a minecraft character but you don't want to keep everything too blocky too uh, you know like, like a lot of people I guess would go like this for the arm and this but and just make it straight as a stick but you don't need that it needs to have some character to it so next we have here is the head Let's go ahead and finish up the head. So we got some hair here, starting here, and pretty basic. But you don't want to do the hair just like this. I mean, you could, if you want, go like this, this, because it is kind of what that looks like. But I want to make it look more like hair, so more like that, and then finish up the side there. And that looks a little better, I think. And uh, that's up. 
big smile, but with eyes and smile, I think it's the most important things about the drawing, because eyes have a lot of character with it, to it. Now, a lot of people might go like this, simple square, oh, kind of a square, if you want to call it that, and be like, go something like that, and color that in, right? Um, or you could always do like a circle, something like that would work as well. If that's if that it's all about your style, art. but the style that I do for the eyes is kind of like this. Okay, so this is how I do it. So you start a bridge here. There's your first bridge, and put a bridge on top of the other bridge. Uh, that's not as, that's not as good as looking. So redo another bridge. Yeah. It's trial and error, you know. So uh, there's another bridge. Another bridge. Actually, let's crop that a bit. And then you're going to want to connect those. Boom. And you do want to add just a little bit more of the eyes kind of bottom, the bridge. It needs to be a little longer than the top. I don't know why I call it a bridge, but I do. So. Alright, so that's looking, if we could get this correctly done, that's looking a little better, uh, more natural, and then you're going to want to just do something yeah, simple like this, do a circle in there, S kind of a circle, like that, and then I always do the smile, kind of like that, bigger at this part, smaller at that part. And you can just color it in using the bucket right there. Boom, boom, boom. I always do black. Uh, if you have, like with this skin, this person's got blue eyes. And uh, a lot of people, if you're doing skins for people, they're going to want their skin to have the blue eyes that they intended for their skin. But there is a way to get around that without it looking really uh, ridiculous. So next... We're just going to want to grab this blue that is in that skin and plop it down in there. See, we've got the color of that. Actually, something we forgot to do that is very important, but we're stupid, so we forgot. Well, I'm stupid. I don't know why I'm calling y'all stupid. Is go like this for the hands. And there. Let's do that to both sides. Everybody needs hands. Alright. Except for creepers. They do not need it. Because that, that would be bad. Alright, and let's finish up the shoes. Right there. And... Yeah, let's just go ahead and use the pencil. And boom, right there. And he's kind of jumping around all crazy like. Uh, let's have him. Like, I usually like to have a, the character holding something in their hand or have with them in every image. So let's, for fun, just draw a block. Yeah, the block's way too high above him. But let's just say we want him to hold. Let's just put something basic in there. Let's have him hold a sword. So we're going to do the handle, however way you want. You know, anyways, fine. We're just going to do a little cup like that. And now do this. And instead of having a sword be straight, like a normal real-life sword, I like to kind of bring it outward, kind of like what a flashlight shine would be, kind of like that, to bring it together at the end, kind of like that, and uh, then you can kind of bring the handle over here, and boom, there we go, that's looking pretty decent, obviously we can't have this hand being in the way, so ooh, gosh. let's just... Get rid of that silly thing. Okay, so boom. Boom. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, so now the sword's clear, and it's looking pretty nice. Next, we have these lines in this shirt. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. Alright, grab the blue again, because we mess up so much, and we know that this one is here, 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 and here, this goes here, 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 and this one goes here, 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 and here. If you're wondering why I'm not coloring, Wondering why I'm not coloring right here in uh, this, these spaces, which I accidentally did uh, for that one, is that I wanted to make it look a little darker for some shading. So you're gonna get that, edit colors, bring it down to that, just darken it, and then color the side. See, adds a bit of shading to it. Makes it look a, little, a lot cooler. So. There we go, add that. Now let's grab this purple color, boom. And uh, you could grab colors from this and just do whatever, grab a different type of purple color. But I'd prefer to just keep the one that they have for the skin so that it looks more similar to the skin. It's just, I, I think it's a lot better of an idea. So now let's darken that. Go ahead and get these done right here. Okay, now we're going to want to grab this orange color. The dreadful orange. Gotta hate it! Grab that, and since there's already a darker orange in here, just grab that one right there. And voila. See, we got a nice different variety of oranges. And let's take care of the shoe. If there is, say here with the shoes, a light color, medium color, and then the darkest color, you're wanna you're gonna wanna grab the lighter of the colors. So grab like this or this. These are the in-between. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one and color in the shoe here, here. And uh, with the bottom of it, let's grab the darkest. It's the dark, dark, dark. Actually, this would be bright, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. So let's darken that bit there. A little bit of a mess up here. And boom. So that's looking pretty decent. Let's get this hair done next. Grab this one, since it is a blonde guy. Put that there, make it darker, boom, boom, actually that's a little too dark, isn't it? Dreadful, okay, boom, boom, see that's not too much darker, but it looks better. And now let's grab the skin, this is a very tanned guy, wow, you have quite the tan, buddy. Alright, and now let's get the, a darker part of it. 
and oh goodness gracious we messed up okay there and there and that is looking pretty dang good right now so now we've got all the colors for this guy's skin well, except for here but it's just black so black black or is it actually fully black yes it is so we just do this the same color and take care of that little speck there now for here you're gonna want some brown but before that let's fix all these other little mess ups and now we can get to the real deal shading I always like to leave the item that they're holding for last well actually I think it might be a good idea to go ahead and take care of that and get him out of the way so let's grab a dark brown color that guy in right there there and now let's grab this color give him a nice diamond sword and there you go so now he's got a diamond sword and a lot of people I guess they could leave the skin the design just looking straight up like this but shading does do a lot to it so first off let's take care of the shading of the head you know we started with the head let's just keep redoing parts of the head till we're completely done with it so what you're gonna want to do is run a little a few little pixels away from the little hair parts add some shading to it and then you color it in it looks like he's got some nice shading right there from the hair being over his head and uh, obviously you're gonna want to do it here so you're gonna need to make it an even darker color I know it just keeps getting darker and darker and darker alright and uh, there you go so see he's all shaded up with his hair there and now we're gonna wanna grab this color and grab this brush right here the oil brush and make this size the smallest and see we add a nice little light shading there on the side and we can do the same thing here for his neck and uh, I guess we could do a little more shading with this we could kinda draw some lines on his face make it look like he's got something more there I think that looks pretty decent and we can grab this and a uh, great feature for hair is to grab this natural pencil it's already on the smallest selection which is good and you just want to kind of scribble it around a bit and it'll kind of give the scruffy soft billowy look to things and uh, there you go see kind of adds a little niceness to it and for here we're going to want to grab this back and do the light colors again or you could do white do white there but I don't like that but sometimes adding an extremely uh, you, you're, with these parts here you're going to either want to do a light color here or a darker color I'll show you what it looks like if it's darker so you would be like that and I, I, I just I don't like that so we'll keep it lighter colors for that kind of stuff now we're gonna need to grab this guy right here actually no wait yeah let's just stick with white do that and that for his hand and we can't really do much there there's not much space so we'll grab this light color just kind of draw a little line there and maybe we can sneak one in there yeah. very very conspicuous but still it's visible uh, next we're gonna want to grab this darker color here and do some of that
So there, we got all the stripes done. And now let's add the inside parts. Uh, this I'm going to make actually lighter, like that, just for some variety. Now we've done that. If you notice here, there would be some shading, I would imagine, right here. So let's grab, oops, oops. This darker color here. And fill her in. There we go. That looks pretty darn good. And we're not going to do that all the way here. We're just going to go there. Fill that in. And there we go. That looks pretty decent. And now we see here we're going to want to go even darker. That's just what I feel like doing right now. Instead of adding these streaks, I'm going to try just this. Same tool we used for the hair. a little patch of that and there we go now we finally reached the pants and they look a lot different than the rest of the body now that it's not shaded at all so we're gonna grab this shades color the sides can't do much here but we'll do as much as we can there and let's just do some white why not? There, I think that's looking pretty good. And as you can see here, we have some more colors. Let's grab this one, the lightest one. Color the bottom. And now the absolute darkest one. And color the top. There, looks a little bit more like a shoe. Now, we're going to want to add a little bit of this to the sides. And now for the bottom of this shoe right here. Actually, let me do just a bit more with this right here. Adds a little bit more to it. Actually, let's just keep it like that. And now we're gonna get some lines here. Get the lines again, and like that, that, and that. It looks like there's treads on the shoes. And you could go like this, and but I don't think we will. We will run over this. We will run that over it though. just for a bit of an added effect. So there, that'll do that. And now let's finish up with the last bit, taking care of the sword. Grab the lighter color from there. Get this, and run a middle straight down there. Adds a little neatness to it. And let's grab here, get a lighter color. Not too much lighter though. And there. Now our so our skin is complete with the whole look. I think it looks pretty good. And that's how you do it. Um, and you're going to want to remove the skin here. I always like to add a circle around my character. So let's grab that. We got a circle selected. Let's grab a color from the skin itself. Oh, I almost forgot one of the most important parts. Silly, stupid me. Also, you're going to want to add the white to the eyes. This is really, really important. I can't believe I almost forgot this. So grab this, and let's have him looking at the sword. Oh, that's a little too much. 
There, he's all happy with his sword. Okay, so there. Now we got that. We didn't add the blue to the eyes, because it... I just didn't like how it looked. But we got the skin done. And now we can grab this circle shape and select a color that is from this skin. Let's go with the, the dark purple here. And make the shape as big as possible. And make sure this all fits correctly. Add the circle there. That fits pretty decently. And now let's fill in with uh, this color here. Yeah, let's go with that. The color of the pants looks pretty good. And you will notice that there are little mess ups here and there. If they're not, th if there isn't, then you're genius. But it is just from the shading a bit of it carried over. And it's pretty easy to correct. You just run your pencil over here with the color of the background. And if you don't want to do a background at all, you just want to have a clear transparency, then I guess you could roll with that. But I prefer something like this for all of the backgrounds. So there we go. We've done that, that, that. And just doing a few touch-ups to make sure this looks as good as can be because we don't want to give a speed art to somebody without it looking as best it can. So there we go. We finished that up. And now let's add one final color to the outside. So let's, yeah, let's just stick with that. I think that looks pretty decent. So there you have it. You have your drawing right here, your character, and everything good to go. Thank you for watching. Uh, I know this was a long tutorial, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and peace off.